My name is Mecca Obi, and I do marketing and PR for Tendi Clothing. Well, Ten Deep is a brand that's mired in 12 years of success and, and non-success. <laughs> we, um, we're basically a brand based in Brooklyn, New York, uh, one of the original streetwear brands. Um, we've ridden the wave until the streetwear actually came into existence. And we, um, we base all of our sensibilities on things that emanated from New York like punk culture, hip hop, skateboarding, and things of that nature. And it all just fuses together in uh, the form of garments that we put out to the public. Some of them being socially uh, relevant or conscious and some of them just being totally nonsensical and just joke stuff. But you know, it's, it, it all works. Well, it's good to have a national presence and we are known as a New York brand, our brand being 10 Deep NYC or 10 Deep Clothing in New York, or we usually have that title based in everything that we do. But we, our cues come from everything, the, you know, uh, politics, uh, world events, and we can't really pigeonhole ourselves to one place because as we've gotten older, we've been more places, and you know, he was seen more, has more. So it's, it, we try to incorporate everything that we've seen into our brand. Streetwear has changed since we've begun. Actually, streetwear, when we started the brand, streetwear wasn't really a term that was used. Streetwear is a more recent term, really popped up within the last few years, of, that, that just to categorize what, what um, what we're doing and what others around us, our peers are doing. Um, but things have changed and it's become profitable. It's, uh, it wasn't profitable before. We, we all had day jobs along with working here, you know? Like we, we, like people just started making money doing this. This wasn't something that was readily accepted by mainstream media. You still don't hear about it in mainstream magazines or see it on television and such, but you do see it in the streets and, and on the, 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 the people who are creating the future. So what we're saying is, it, what we're doing is, as the future is being created, we uh, want to be involved in all aspects of it. So music, uh, drama, everything of that nature, we attach ourselves to it and, and we just like the new. We want to be uh, affiliated with the new and, and what is um, current and what is actually vibrant. It's not like a revolution because all this stuff existed. We, uh, until someone grows a third leg, we're not going to re revolutionize the pen. A lot of, a lot more brands have popped up. A lot more things have happened. A lot more, um, a, a lot more um, things have become acceptable that weren't acceptable. A lot more big thing, more people have taken the helm of trying to change what people are wearing and what people are doing. So we have. It's a, a lot of competition has been created, and a lot of a lot of a uh, shaking of the tree has been done, and, and a lot of so a lot of people you shake the tree, and a lot of things will fall off, and some pe some will stay on. It's it, you stick to what your strong your strong point is. We start doing shoes, we, we, like I, I liken it to like a restaurant that's selling like pizza and hamburgers. They're gonna do one, two. You can do one thing good, or two things mediocre. You know, I'm not gonna buy a, a, a pizza from a hamburger stand. You know, so we stick to what we're what we're good at, and that that'll that'll put us through over the top. I mean, yeah, we can add some things to the repertoire, definitely some accessories and other things that we like, but we're not gonna like try and reinvent the wheel. We're not gonna you're not gonna see ten deep cheese being made or anything like that because we don't know how to make cheese. 